Oh, I shouldn't have sworn. I think <laughs> I think I'm streaming. That's gonna ruin my. Hopefully, the president can see say that I'm CNN now. I think it's fine. We'll find out. <clears throat> boop -a -da boop -a -da boop. I want people to be impressed by <clears throat> the the rapid change from one show to another show because I am not doing this every week. I'll tell you that much. Okay, here we go. That's on. I forgot to do Okay, that's fine Alright, it'll be fine Alright, we'll just do this <clears throat> Here we go Oh, that was the wrong one <laughs> <laughs> I make the same mistake every week Tonight on the Sometime Show President Biden gave the State of the Union this week And it was so loud that we're all asking Are you mad at us, Dad? Plus, the Congress wants to shut down TikTok, but Congress is also made up of a bunch of oldies. So we're just going to tell them that they did it by turning off the radio. Also, a new study has found private hospitals provide worse care than public ones. Let's just hope they don't start studying YouTube independent talk shows versus network shows. I'm saying we're worse, and we are. And finally, Margot Robbie was going to be here, but we bumped her to talk to Ryan Gosling instead. All that, except for the last tonight. On the Sometime Show. Welcome, 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 everybody, to the Sometime Show. I'm Jimmy Snow, and I really just hope that's enough. We are once again broadcasting in both horizontal and vertical formats, and if you are watching, uh, on one of those, but would prefer the other, there is a link down in the description to achieve such a thing. It is Sunday, March 10th, and if you are wondering why you feel so tired right now, that's because last night was daylight savings time. And here's a fun little fact for the start of your day. The reason we still have uh, daylight savings time is because fuck you. That's, that's the actual, that's the scientific reason why. Anyway, a lot has happened this week, so we have a lot to talk about. And today, I won't be crushed by the silence of loneliness returning once again to help me make sense of the news. It is the one, the only, my baking brother, Dominic Syracuse. That's right. I still got that. You were like, is he going to do the thing? Will he do the thing? I, I don't know. Well I was I was upset that there wasn't black first and you going damn it and then and then it runs. Oh, I did say shit at the beginning <laughs> of the show like <laughs> 3 seconds in as I realized how many things I was behind on because I like during the last show was like all right I got to do a little bit of prep work and then I realized uh just moments ago that I think I have to send you the script still. No, I got it. I oh, have you it. Do? I did send it to you. Yeah, Jeez. Yeah. So I was on such autopilot doing everything. I don't remember doing that. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so you see yeah. where we are in the script right now then, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You read those, uh, introduce Dom. And then what was the next yeah. note I put? My favorite is, yeah. In the script, it actually says like pleasant banter. Short, that's, that's my favorite. Short, pleasant banter. Short, Short, pleasant banter. That like that's how that's how you know my grandmother organizes <laughs> like tea parties. Yeah. Well, yeah. first everyone will get in, and then we'll have short, pleasant banter, well, and then the racist talk begins. Yes. <laughs> I, listen, I'm progressive. In another year, the the racist talk was part of the pleasant banter. But now, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, no. uh, in my grandmother's defense, my grandma, my grandmother was very progressive for her time, New York Jew. But I loved when she got to an age where, like, she didn't give a shit what you were talking about and would just change the subject. Like, I'd be like, "Grandma, I'm gonna get my learner's permit," and she'd go, 
I think Margaret, who lives next door, is a racist. <laughs> okay, Grandma. <laughs> like, let's talk about that. The uh, I've been around some of uh, some people as they were, and I'm, this is not me making fun of them because it's really just a sad thing. But I, have you been around people who are kind of like at the end of their days? Oh yeah, on their way out, sure. and and they just say if they have a certain type of dementia, it's like. It's as though their brain went all of the things you used to resist saying because it was impolite yeah. and you didn't believe it. You now believe all those things. You yeah, now, 100%. You now believe all the worst shit. But don't you kind of look forward to that? Like, I mean, how nice would it be just at any time to just immediately say your mind, like whatever you're thinking? Oh, it just yeah, yeah. seems. Yeah. And so it just seems nice. So here's the thing, though. If you actually look at the progress on dementia, um, like science around dementia and curing dementia, there's a good chance they will have cured dementia before you and I would get dementia. I certainly hope so. Oh, That's me a, too. Like that, that would be the greatest because yeah. like I, my mind's already so messed up as it is. And I already say such messed up things that it's going to be off. Even now, like I'll go to one of my son's like uh, basketball games or football games and in my mind, all I said was, yeah, good shot. And my wife will hit me and be like, there are children around. Yeah. And I'm like, what do you mean there are children around? And she's like, all I, I'm like, all I said was nice shot. She's like, no, you said, holy, sh what a fucking great <laughs> shot. And I didn't even realize that that's what I yelled out. And you're like, you're yeah, like screaming so, violent stuff like, kill the other team, murder them. Yeah, kill them. Slice their legs. Murder them. <laughs> I, that, okay, another funny quick story. I made the mistake of like substitute coaching my youngest son's soccer team. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> like there was one kid that I was like, who do we call if we're worried someone's going to murder someone else? Like I'm talking to him like, all right, guys, ready? Just remember all that matters is that we're having fun. We play safe and we have a good time. Let's go. And this kid literally goes, kill them. And then runs on the field. And oh, I was man. like, wow. And then he's crying and he's like, we're losing. And I'm like, there's no scoreboard. We don't keep score. And he's like, I'm keeping score. <laughs> well, like, I can right, do get, basic math. All right. <laughs> get this kid a juice box and a tranquilizer now. I think we're good to go. I think I've got everything set up. All right. Woo we're going to, uh, that was very pleasant banter. Don't know about short, good. Uh, but it was pleasant. Not <laughs> dumb. <laughs> dumb is short though. So it was, that was enough. So we're going to get started. This is voted the greatest <laughs> segment in the universe by second graders. Yes. I gave candy to, uh, yeah. it is time for, I gotta get my feet in a position. Roast the news. Uh, did you notice that the, that the date is wrong? Oh no, that's not good. Hang on a second. Can you do no, some fine. more pleasant? No, it isn't. It's it means fine. that I have it's the wrong. Fun. It means I have the wrong slideshow up. So I'm going to need you to. <laughs> I need you to do a little more pleasant banter while I go. No fix. problem. What oh, I want God. everyone to focus on, if you didn't get a chance to see the last time that we did the sometimes show together, look at Jimmy. Look at me, specifically my hair color and my face shape haircut, and then look at Jimmy's facial hair and how how we're dressed. And do me a favor, as soon as this little Roast the News uh, cartoon guy that Jimmy developed comes up, tell me this does not look like our love child. This yeah. looks like when you put in a thing that's like, this is what your child would look like. It literally looks like the perfect mixture of um, the two of us. I I actually have some news to that end, uh, buddy. It is our love child, and uh, I know, no, it's time oh. for you to meet him and take some responsibility. It, I'm gonna need you I to did. coach, coach his team, you asshole. I didn't know. <laughs> the funny part about that is that, like, my child would have a beard before I do. That's oh the sad goodness. part. <laughs> Fucking see, look, look, that dude's he's got, got some... my haircut. He's yeah. got my haircut and face shape. He's got your blue eyes and beard. And my shirt, apparently. So there he is. I like, too, that this is, like, the worst graphic placement possible. Uh, but the <laughs> graphic placement's about to get a lot better. As a reminder to everyone, to make this a lot more fun for both of us, Dom and I have actually written each other's yes. scripts. Uh, but we haven't gotten a chance to screen them at all. So when you right. hear us reading them for the first time, 
we're reading it for the first time. So with all yeah, of that in mind. Literally reading it the first time. And, and, and keep in mind, at least I can speak for myself. When I wrote the majority of Jimmy's, like when I was writing most of these scripts, I was just writing things to hear them come out of Jimmy's mouth, which. Yeah. I, so a lot of this is just my personal sadistic pleasure. So and I can't from wait. here forward. I'm going to pretend he wrote all the things he's going to say. You'll see why. Take it away, Dom. No, you didn't. All right. I, now I'm scared. All <laughs> right. <laughs> this one's not bad. On Thursday, Joe Biden put the rest of the rumors about him not having put, the energy for the rest. job. Also, here's another thing that what happens did I say? in the segment. Uh, we're going to give each other notes and ask each other to retake <laughs> things from time to time. Uh, it, you said put the rest of the rumors about him. Put, oh, it's put got it, rest. got it. Yeah, put yeah. two rest. All right. Yeah. Take two. Rewind. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. On Thursday, Joe Biden put to rest the rumors about him not having the energy for the job by absolutely screaming the state of the union at us. And guys, I know he's 81 years old, but he but he gave that speech well after bedtime. Okay. Meanwhile, it's like Republicans are complaining. No, seriously. No, I get it. That's I mean I watched it from bed. I was falling asleep. Yeah, dude, nine o'clock is the new bet. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, that's late for anybody. Why are they starting this so late? Anyway, meanwhile, Republicans are complaining that these speeches are supposed to follow a certain kind of decorum. And I'm pretty sure we gave but, up on normal. But, but I'm oh, pretty yeah, yeah. sure. And but it's very I'm different. pretty sure <laughs> yeah, it's true. But I'm pretty sure we gave up on normal political events back in 2015 when Donald Trump talked about the size of his penis at an RNC debate. That really I remember happened. that. That's real. I know I remember the whole thing about hands and so I you know, I was said, I remember. His hands are small so something else might be small. I promise you there's no problem. That's what he said. Yeah, no no problem there's no here. Problem. No, yeah, in in an actual presidential there's no problem debate. Yeah. Yep. That's real. That really happened. Somehow people are forgetting all kinds of shit Trump did. But we at the Sometimes Show have the memory of a red elephant. Get it? That's the that's the sign of the Republican Party, the mascot. That's good. Red elephant. That was good. Go. I Thank see you. what you did. I that like it. Joke, Biden good. did a pretty good job of highlighting his success, especially those that can be easy to miss. But also didn't shy away from talking about Trump, who he only called his predecessor. And it was uh, such a good speech, you almost forget he's been funding a genocide in Palestine. Yeah. Right? I almost, I, yeah. the whole time I was like, holy shit, where's this guy? Oh, right. Oh, right. He's killing yeah, babies. Yeah, that's happening shit. still. Yeah. But, Ooh. of course, it wouldn't be a State of the Union if Marjorie Taylor Greene wasn't there to make it about herself. She showed up breaking congressional rules. By wearing uh, MAGA gear from head to toe. She thought she was real clever, thinking Biden wouldn't say the name Lake and Riley during his speech as she was screaming and demanding he say it. But he did. And it didn't slow him down at all. The best part, though, was Biden's face when he first laid his eyes on her. Witness for yourself how rattled he was. This is real. I don't know if you've seen this. That was the face he made at her. He's like, he's oh down my the gosh. And he makes eye contact where he goes, oh. oh. He like, and it's so funny. maybe we have to pull up the video during Did You See This? Because the video, the camera turns to her and you see her go like, and she gets a look of being utterly ashamed of herself on her face. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. She like, she looks ashamed. Um, well, I, you know, I mean, look, looking? I'm, I'm, the the thing is is you know yeah we talked we talked about oh, this forgot. like uh we talked about this like how you're not even supposed to wear hats in technically right. speaking in congress and she came just decked out yeah. you know yeah. but you know i mean yeah. hey if if she wants to cheerlead for her abusive boyfriend then you know that's yeah. that's very on par for her demographic. She's just being a good congressperson and representing that part of uh, that part of the world. I've seen it a lot. So All right, here we go. Good job. <clears throat> All right, this is yours. 
written by Dom. A new study from the Washington Post has shown that despite the massive decrease in jobs after COVID, the strongest factor in keeping the economy and job market alive was actually immigrants. That's right. While most natural born Americans like my large uncle Leroy have left their jobs as plumbers and pipe fitters to stream on Twitch and start an OnlyFans. Rest in peace, Uncle Leroy. Immigrants from the other countries have kept up the spirit of American hard work by actually doing hard work in America. Not only that, but a massive reason we are leading the AI and tech races around the world is because of immigrant scientists who have come to America to work on this technology, meaning that the traditional jobs Americans have abandoned have been sustained by immigrants, allowing Americans up to... Uh, Allowing Americans to make more money on digital platforms created by immigrants. Allowing Americans more money and free time to do what they do best. Blaming their problems on those immigrants that are solving their problems. It's ironic how we grew up hearing uh, that whole, They took our jobs! They're going to take our jobs! When in reality, it turns out now, they're saving our jobs! <laughs> However, when they asked Donald Trump about this, he claimed they are all evil as Hannibal Lecter, then pushed Michael J. Fox out of his wheelchair and started kicking him repeatedly. What? Okay. All right. What? I have to say something. I don't get it. I don't get it. What happened with Michael J. Fox? This, okay. This, this, that was not supposed to be the first joke. The jokes have been rearranged. No, I, it's on the, so if you look at the list, we claimed which ones we wanted to write, and then there's a number next right. to them in what order they're going. I didn't know what that number was. I thought it was arbitrary. It was a skill, a ranking so system. I wrote, I, which one. I wrote the jokes as I saw them on the sheet in order. So oh. what you just heard was a callback <laughs> from something I'm going to make you say later. The first ever comedy call forward. <laughs> we are revolutionizing so, the yes. comedy game. So now, now <laughs> I want you to be doing this whole thing wondering what, When's it what come? does Donald Trump Kicking Michael J. Fox out of a wheelchair. I thought I had missed have some news. to do with anything because because I was I I was, I was low key panicking the second I saw that come up. I'm like, wait, I thought it was Oscar joke. Then then uh uh the, there was a couple others, and I thought that one was very last. I so so Somebody I wrote, didn't pay attention to the numbers. So now chatted, I can't do this lib thing. All right, well. Weird, because I'm a socialist, but fine. Go, go find, <laughs> go find some other socialists to call libs. I guess. Yeah. Well, but here's, but here's the thing: is uh, now I'm excited because now I'm excited for you to keep reading the jokes right. and find out exactly where uh, uh, Donald Trump um, um, kicks Michael, Michael J. J. Fox <laughs> in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. All right. Well, this one's yeah, yours. You'll see. Oh, here we go. All right. Let's see. Uh. All right. A new study from the Washington. No, that's no, you. That's yours. You, that's, you, you're, that's yeah, you're yep, going, going back. Going down, back. All right. All right. All right. I think back I think to the state of the union. News voice. Back to the state of the union after Biden completed yep. his speech. Something like that. I'll, I'll give it a try. Later. Yeah. Back to the state of the union after Biden completed his speech. The Republicans wanted to prove they were looking to the future for their party, including a strong coalition of women. So. They got out their cameras and filmed their response to the State of the Union, signaling this re uh, This really is a ladies GOP by having Katie Britt give the response, not from the halls, Congress. No, of Congress. My bad. They had her. That's right. They had her stay home so she could give the response from her kitchen. That's real. It was weird people she somehow managed to yell and whisper at the same time have you watched it, it? was like watching i i i, I just a couple of things i, I kind of like exactly watching like, what like, happened they are <laughs> out of sync with the american people she was yell <laughs> yell whispering whisper yelling it was incredible go on it was like watching a hostage who somehow got onto skype uh, uh, got into a Skype call trying to beg for help, but not so loudly <laughs> that the captors, in this case, I assume the 
Trump brothers, hear them in the next room. I'd say she set back the Republican Party 50 years, but after all the rewinding Trump did, that would put them in the Crusades. Do you want to try that last sentence again? Sure. Yeah. I'd say she set them, the Republican Party. It's supposed to be more like, oh, look, I'd say she set the Republican oh, Party I'd back 50 say, years. That's it. The yeah. operative word is say there. Okay. Yeah. I'd say she set back the Republican Party 50 years, but after all the rewinding Trump did, that would put them in the Crusades. Hey, I mean, the Crusades. Hey, I mean, yeah. Little Larry David. Let's see where that was. <laughs> Media personality right. Laura Trump, who is daughter-in-law of Donald, has been officially made co-chair of the Republican National Committee, proving once again that when it comes to holding power in the Republican Party, so long as you have Trump in your name, you don't need to be qualified at all. Laura Trump also made headlines. Actually, it's funny because literally, oh, I'll finish in case you actually write about this. Did you write about the qualifications thing? I didn't. So, no, go ahead. So one of the like RNC people who were like, hey, I'm going to introduce our new co-chair. Literally in the preface was like, Laura Trump is proof that the best person isn't always the qualified person. <laughs> she like tried to compliment her on not being qualified for the job. It was yeah, fucking okay. exactly. brutal. Exactly. Anyway, yeah. uh, Laura Trump also made headlines this week for stating that being conservative is now counterculture. So now it is cool to be conservative. Look, uh, I'm not the coolest guy in the world. How fucking dare you? I just need to stop the show for a second. <laughs> Dominic Syracuse, how fucking dare you put that in my teleprompter? All right. All right. Just... Just now, finish. Look, just finish. I'm not the coolest guy in the world, but I'm pretty sure that I can tell you if you have to say things like we're cool now, you're not. You're definitely not cool. However, I will say in her defense, there was a time when doing things that Republican do, Republicans do, like bullying the weak, hating people who are different and marginalized and glorifying idiocy was considered cool. And it's coming back around in a very, very extreme way. Like, think about Biff from Back to the Future. Remember how he was this tall, red-headed bully who takes advantage of women and terrorized Michael J. Fox then, back then by shoving him off his skateboard? And people in the 50s thought, boy, that's an example of a cool guy. Well, Trump looks and acts just like Biff. He, too, is a tall, red-headed bully accused of taking advantage of women. The only difference is he terrorizes Michael J. Fox now by shoving him out of his wheelchair and kicking him with his golden American shoes, <laughs> then making it really hard and expensive for Fox to get any kind of medication for his condition or the injuries that he sustained by Trump's vicious and unprovoked stomping attacks. This makes more sense now. And Laura Trump there it was. That, and Laura Trump thinks that's real cool. She loves seeing Donald Trump physically assault Michael J. Fox because it's counterculture. You know, it's just not what you're supposed to do. And that's cool with me. It does that was work good. better in the other right. order. You're right. In the other order. Yeah. So you yeah. say all that first and Donald and then, it's a silly thing. Because Donald Trump's pushing Michael J. Fox out of a wheelchair and all this. And then, yeah. and then, and by you the do way, the immigrant thing, we're and then you go. Go ahead, right. sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's, I just it's want to say, as a point of fact, Donald Trump did do that. <laughs> we are saying here at the Sometime Show, Donald Trump beat the shit <laughs> out of Parkinson's patient, Michael J. Fox. That's a fact. And the thing is, like I said, like I said, so much of this, so much of this was me writing this just to hear these words come out of Jimmy's <laughs> mouth. And so I'm like, it, I'm writing going, I'm going to, I'm going to make Jimmy talk about Donald Trump pushing Michael J. Just you wait, buddy. Wheelchair. Just you wait. Though, oh, great. Not this one. This one I like. This one I, this one I like. Go ahead. Donald Trump managed to post a nearly $92 million bond to the New York federal court system as he appeals the judgment against him in the E. Jean Carroll case where he was found guilty of defaming her. He didn't put up all the money himself, mind you. He used an insurance company founded by one of the members of his administration. 
that nearly $92 million was posted by, and this is what it really is called, Chubb Insurance. No, keep going. Keep That's going. right. When it comes when it comes to Trump, you're guaranteed to have a chub. I'm gonna do that again. That's right. When it comes to Trump, you're guaranteed to have a chub. <laughs> yeah. For the, for those of you at interest, we thought we'd tell you about uh other businesses Trump works with. He goes to Orange Face Dental for his teeth. His doctor's office is called Tiny Hands Medical Group. He loves uh, produce from the Little Mushroom in My Pants Farmer's Market. And, of course, when his back hurts... He goes to, I'm a little bitch chiropractic. All right, so I just want to defend the joke for a second. The premise of the joke, but we put a little pause in there that I feel like divided it. The premise of my joke was supposed to be, oh, when he goes to buy, to work with businesses, he only works with businesses that also describe him, basically. Right, Like, it's all on the nose, so... For Chubb. insurance, he goes to right. Chubb Insurance Company. I get and for it. Dental, no, I like he goes it. To Orange Face Dental and Little yes. Mushroom in My Pants Farmers Market. And I'm a little bitch chiropractic. That was the, that was the joke I was trying to write, but it got oh a little my lost. Gosh. It got a little lost in the weeds. That's okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. All right. <clears throat> Very serious now. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, let's get serious. <clears throat> Florida Senate is the Florida Senate has passed a proposal to teach kindergartners about the threat of communism because remember, this is 1953. Is it the right graphic for this? Does it what does it say in the background there? Those Senate Florida. Okay, yeah, yeah, just making sure. Stand against communism. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, just making sure I had the right one up. Uh what I found funny about this is if you boil communism down, it's things like share with each other. Make sure everyone has the same amount of supplies. Don't take more stuff than your neighbor. That's that's pretty much what they teach in car, kindergarten. Uh, that's pretty much what they teach kindergartners to do anyway. What would be a capitalist version of kindergarten look like? Like, uh, Timmy, don't you dare share your fruit snacks with Tommy. If he is poor, it's because his parents are evil and lazy. You charge him more than you paid for those fruit snacks, plus interest on every day he doesn't bring you back double. This is America, Timmy. Now stop crying and peeing your pants. We need more. We need you. We need you strong and ready to hate the immigrants. Also, this lesson is not for you either. All of you four-year-old shitbags owe me money now for this time. Pay me or you hate freedom. Okay. 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 It was good. Did you did I deliver good. it right? Did you, know you delivered right? great. You oh, delivered the monologue wonderfully. Thank you. Yeah, that was very good. Thank you. I would have added like to the list of things they teach you in communism. Don't pinch each other's nipples unless that's been asked for. Uh, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That just seems like a general human thing. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Not not the Republican Party though. Hmm. hmm. Weird. Okay. Strange. All right. After All being ejected from Congress. <laughs> <laughs> After being ejected from Congress, George Santos has announced that he is going to be running again, this time in District 1 instead of District 3. <laughs> George, what the fuck? Who hurt you, dude? I mean, I don't want you to actually answer that because you'll definitely lie about it. But seriously, how can anyone be this delusional? He was also seated with Matt Gates at the State of the Union, and I gotta know... Who's worse for the other in that scenario? Matt Gates has presidential aspirations, is a Trump sycophant, but nobody likes him in Congress. So he's chilling with a gay Republican who lied about everything from 9-11 to college volleyball. But also, like, bro, George, are you trying to get back into the GOP's good graces but gluing yourself to the dude who's being investigated for fucking kids? Any day now, the duo will be announcing their new think tank partnership featuring Louis C.K. and Bill Cosby. Hashtag innocent, even after proven guilty. 
Boom. See, I liked the idea Boom. that like these two are the equivalent of if Louis C.K. was like, I need to fix my image. Better go hang out with Bill Cosby. Yeah. That's the Yeah, that's the exactly. Thing. Exactly. A new, a new st- I'm going to try and do it in podcast voice. Watch this. Okay, a new study it. was released showing that mothers who ingested cannabis have a higher likelihood of giving birth to children with ADD. However, those with ADHD have rebutted the claim by doing hours of incessant research after hyper-focusing on the, on the topic obsessively and neglecting any and all other impending responsibilities, such as feeding their dogs and getting their children to school, Dominic, and finishing their, their half of the script before bed. What they suggest is that ADHD is passed down by the mother, who likely has undiagnosed ADHD herself and could be using cannabis as a way to cope with the anxiety and overthinking that comes with the disorder. When asked for comment, the mothers didn't have much to say about this hypothesis because they were fucking high. I liked it. I liked. I actually think that the, I think the 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 podcast voice actually lent itself very well to it. I thought it did. I thought it did. Yeah, that was good. I just want to say about this next story before you read it. Um, Dominic insisted that he could write and read this story. And whatever he tells no. you now, he's going to be like, no, I didn't. For, no, I didn't. And, I, but, that's not but he's true. like, hey, make sure you keep my secret. So just so you know, the words Dom are about to read are his own and represent his true feelings. Now, Dom, if you'd like to go ahead. Don't oh read ahead, God. Dom. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's see what you're getting me in for. It's fine. It's just my face and voice and the whole career. Let's. He I'll just say it was this. AI. Uh-huh. Let's Deep see. Fake. <laughs> it's not as bad the as Senate think. Majority Leader of Arizona legislator, legislator, a man called Sonny Borelli, seen here pooping at his desk. Doesn't it kind of look like he's is, pooping at his desk? It does. It does. You did good. You did good. You Thank did you. good. Is trying to shut down efforts in Arizona to make birth control available to those who need it in the state. In response to the efforts, Leader Borelli actually told women that if they need birth control pills, they can just hold an aspirin between their knees. Can you believe he said that? I mean, if women are using aspirin for that, what will their boyfriends and husbands use to deal with all their yap, yap, yapping? Many women... Okay, keep going. I'm sorry. <laughs> so mad at you. <laughs> Many women have pointed out that birth control is used for more than just stopping pregnancy, but I kind of tune them out because they just keep going on and on and on. So anyway, Arizona, please pass this law and every other state do it too. But I, Dominic Syracuse, <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it for them. Do it for people like me. Men who just want their wives to simmer down. Jimmy. Dominic. (laughs) I'm sending that clip to your wife. Here's the deal. I'm less scared of the backlash that I would get from that joke. Yeah. And way more scared of what my wife will do to me. <laughs> if, if, if I had your son's number right now, I'd be texting him like, go clip this and show it to no. your mom. Oh, no. No. If, 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 if I said the words, anything to stop all that yapping yep, yep, to yep, my yep. wife, she's Italian. Like you she said yap yap yapping. It wasn't just <laughs> yapping. You said yap yap yapping, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Hey, this one might have a little bit of a this next one might have a little bit of a callback that we didn't plan for. So I'm right. that, that'll save the callback from earlier. Let's find out. <clears throat> a Texas mother has been arrested after poisoning a child's drink at her son's school. I forgot we chose this one. One of us. We did. That means that I thought one of us could make a joke out of it. And you yeah. agreed. And we you text, you text me. You text me to do it. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> We're not good people. Go ahead. Her, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Uh, a Texas mother has been arrested after poisoning a child's drink at her son's school. Her son reportedly had his drink stolen the day before and told his mother about it. The mother then made up a concoction inside a Gatorade bottle and instructed her son to give it to the child who stole his drink, which ended up putting the child in the hospital. The mother was confused about the whole endeavor as she said she found the recipe inside a children's cookbook from the 80s titled Mixology with Bill Cosby. Oh, man, I hate all of this. That's, that's way worse. That is way worse than yap, yap, yapping. Holy shit. That story is uh-huh, way you're darker than I realized it was going to be, too. I thought it was what, just going to be that think? she, like, I thought she was going to x lax the kid. Like, when I read the headline, no, I was well, like, oh, probably x Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. No, it was, it was like, and the weird thing, like, the true story uh, was something a little more strange. It was, um, <clears throat> she had mixed, like, like, the kid had apparently taken her son's drink the day before and apparently uh, supposedly the boy had problems with this same kid stealing his drink every day sure. so the mother she mixed stuff that like doesn't it was like it was like lemon juice salt vinegar and Gatorade like uh, that combination and was like here give this to him so that when he comes you know and steals your drink so just expecting it to he'll taste drink really that. bad okay i don't know see that's what confused me because the kid drank it and then had some kind of crazy reaction, which landed him in the hospital. Right. Wow. Um, and he's like, st- the kid's still in the hospital, like not doing good. But the, the thing is, is that, is that like, I, if someone knows in the chat, please say, is that some kind of mixture of give me the, you give me the ingredients again, these things again, I think it was salt vinegar, right? Uh, Gatorade and lemon juice and I, I mean none of that none of that sounds like it would I mean the, what, so the component that, that? You have, the component that is the most conspicuous there is the vinegar because salt's definitely not going to do it right so does vinegar react with something inside that's what I'm saying Gatorade? like and if you were to, is that one of those things you don't do you know yeah. like you never mix ammonia and, and bleach with, yeah. right yeah yeah. Right, you never do those things. So, so maybe if you mix those things and the mother knew it, I was I like, know. yeah, give this to him. It's gonna. I don't know. So, I wish, I, you know, I, I don't wish know. we hadn't done that one. I just want to say, <laughs> I wish we had not chosen that story. I thought it was just gonna be X Lex. <laughs> not that that's yeah. great. You shouldn't do that to people either. But it's you know, it's at least it's kind of routine. Whatever. We went. We went for it. All right. TikTok is in trouble as legislation is pushing forward, which would require the app's owners to divest from their Chinese ownership or be shut down. This one is complicated because there are actual dangers having an app that takes so much of your private data and has the potential to spy on its users, all while being controlled by the Chinese government. Also, TikTok itself, while having lots of wonderful content, has an incredible amount of misinformation. But no matter what side you're on, I think we can all agree that something has to be done about the worst thing TikTok has done. Riz Vibbing Stan, no cap, dank meme if you're no simp. Glow up with that gat. Kind of sus though, but rare. Woo, bet. Okay, just so you know, it was supposed to be. I did that so wrong. I guarantee I did that so wrong. The worst thing that TikTok has ever done, Riz Vibing Stan, no cap, dank meme if you're no simp. Glow up with the gat. Kind of sus though, but rare W, bet. BT Dub, the sometime show slaps. Oh my gosh, Jimmy. I have to, this is unexpected, but look at this. I just looked down. This is not part of the script. This is not anything. I got a notification that I have a low battery on the computer. And I was like, how is that possible? It's plugged in. Not making this up, dude. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's it. It look, everything's shutting down. What it completely. That? It, this literally, it's my charger to my computer. Yeah, you need to you need to replace the plug part. Take that plug out yeah. and get a new one in it. I don't know if I have one. I'll have to Wait, look around and see, see if see I have one. Let me see the tip. It's 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 one of these. Look, is it three roundies it's a, it's a, or more of like yes. a regular? 
It's it's it, three roundies. But is it are the three pins surrounded by little circles or is it more like a yes, house? Three pins surrounded by little circles. You see if anybody else has a laptop. It's a pretty common laptop one. Yeah, I'll well I'll 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 look, but I just got I was like, how is the battery low? And I realized this has somehow been severed. Severed, yeah. Severed. Somebody really didn't want you to do the show today. Cause that looked like a no. clean sever. No, it well, no, it was uh it makes sense because earlier when I was setting up for the show, there was a spark, like a giant spark, and all the lights went out. And I was like, what the hell? And I thought I blew a switch. And so I turned it back on and I, now I'm realizing what that was all about. Have you unplugged the wall side of it, by the way? Uh, I should. Yeah, you don't want that severed in there. But yeah, go find. Is is this going to die? Is the computer you're talking on? It the might. Thing? Well, it, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Go ask your so kids I might for a cable. <laughs> yeah, I might. I might just have to jump on. So we might have to save the rest of the news, you know, in case I accidentally fall out of this. Why aren't you going and asking for a cable yet? Oh, I'm going. I'm going. I just okay. wanted to preface it in case okay. I immediately block off. All right. Yeah. Go. Go find. Go find somebody to. I'll. I'll keep reading. Uh. Let's see. The 96 Oscars are tonight, with the big story being the snub of Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie for Barbie. For those that don't actively internet, while Barbie is nominated for Best Picture and Screenplay, Gerwig and Robbie did not get nominations in their respective categories. However, the Academy did recognize Ryan Gosling for his work, pretty much reiterating the plot for the movie where women get overlooked by their for their male counterparts, leading people to draw comparisons. Oh, he turned his camera off. Leading people to draw comparisons to the movie and modern society. But in the Academy's defense, Barbie's themes have been reflective of society long before the movie ever came out. I mean, if you want to listen to a plastic blonde woman who has no idea about the real world and tirelessly defends the children that control her, just listen to Marjorie Taylor Greene speak at a Trump rally. I don't think Marjorie has kids. I think you meant Lauren Boebert. I think you meant Lauren Boebert, but she's not blonde. Anyway, boom, mic drop. I'd like to thank the Academy. Did you find one? So Dom is currently looking for a power cable for his laptop as his has been severed. Uh, let's do a little Q&A with the uh, live chat while that's going on. Who's got a random question? Who's got a question? Anybody else want to hear the vibing, not vibbing? Is vibbing a thing? Because, yeah, it definitely was meant to be vibing. Uh, I'll reread it here. Vibbing. Uh, this is it. <clears throat> uh, we can all agree that something has to be done about the worst thing TikTok has done. Riz vibing stam. No, oh shit, I fucked it up. Riz vibing stand. No cap. Dank meme. If you're no simp, glow up with a yacht. Kind of sus though, but rare W. Bet. BT dub. The sometime show slaps. Uh, yeah. Okay. He said vibbing. Well, it was vibbed for his pleasure. Get it? Get it? Get it? Please come back, Dom. Dommy, come back. Oh, I don't want to do the rest of the show alone. Dommy, come back. Hey, if this is your first time here, we've been doing this uh, sometime show uh, like twice a week. I think right now is basically what we've been sustaining. And there are other people. Sarah Gibson will be joining me once again this week, I think on Thursday after Takis. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I fucking love it over here. Somebody uh, earlier said it's no surprise, something like it's no surprise that um, that uh, Jimmy wanted to end the other show quickly because he actually looks happy over here. And boy, ain't that the fucking truth. Uh, anyway, Q&A in the chat. Let's see who chose that poison mom story. LOL. So I like was basically looking through headlines and I basically make a spreadsheet where I'm like, here's the different stories we could write about because while we write each other's scripts, we don't want to accidentally write the same story. So we choose which headlines we want. And so I just put that in the headlines again, thinking it was just going to be. And so I technically put the story on the sheet and then Dom went, I can make that funny. I can make that funny. Dom, come back. Dom. <laughs> I'm going to message him. I don't know if he's disconnected or just has the screen black. How's the search? Um, no, I'm just going to write, did you find one? Did you find one? Come back, buddy. We got to keep reading the news. Uh, 
perfect Jimmy quote. Let me see your tip. But um, Marjorie Taylor Greene has kids, huh? I don't know why. Kind of thought. I don't know. I don't find any of the jokes that I want to make here probably okay. They're probably a little mean. Probably a little mean. Probably a little sexist. Probably not gonna. Probably not gonna do the that one. Uh, not good. Not good. See if Tom replied. Nope. No reply yet. Tommy, come back. Oh no 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 no. Tommy, come back. Back 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 back. Well, this sucks. Yeah, I will call him. Let's find out. Jimmy Alexander Snow is the full name. But uh, it's that's my, it's like my social name. I don't want to say it's not my real name because it is what I use it every day. I actually have now a different, so I have a legal name that's different from my everyday name, which is the show name you all know, James Alexander Snow. And then um, uh, there's also um, uh, I have a fake name that I use when I like go to hotels or whatever, which obviously I'm not going to tell people what that one is. Um, What's the difference between ADD and ADHD? ADD, I don't think, is understood to exist anymore. It's that it's part of the ADHD spectrum. Uh, and so I, I think they've, they've pretty much absorbed it. They don't really uh, diagnose people with that anymore. Um, is it true that you're nearly as tall as Gutsick Gibbon? Gutsick Gibbon's like 6'8". I'm only 6'2". Uh, let's see. Okay, wait, wait. He said something. What did he say? Got a new laptop jumping back on now. Hopefully he doesn't have to... Will you need to install? <laughs> will, will you need to install the software for the stuff? Whatever, we'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck it. Uh, I thought you were humming Barracuda, and then you weren't. Boom, 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 because they don't need more non-adult content on there. The more that non-adult content does, the better it does, the better chance that the it'll uh, turn on them. Yeah, Gutsy Gibbons like seven feet tall. So it might be a joke, but nobody knows. I've not met her in person. But whether it's a joke or not, either I don't know or if I did, I wouldn't tell anybody. But if you ask her, I'll tell she is. She's going to tell you she's 6'8". Uh, let's see. Everybody thinks I'm short. I'm 6'2". Is it true that you're two and a half children in a button down? No. No, this is just got, it's not another person whose shoulders I'm sitting on top of. How do you have half a child? You're a man of many names, just like George Santos. That's true. Uh, for those who are like, what the fuck's going on here? We're waiting for Dom to get back. He, uh, his, his laptop charger got severed, uh, and he is trying to, to reconnect. So right now we're taking questions from the live chat while we wait for him to get back, and then we will keep reading the news. Let's see what's next. Um, did you see the Z Way interview with George Santos? I don't know. I've seen a different bunch of different stuff. Do you know what that song is about? Barracuda? I don't know. Is it like a big old dong? Barracuda. 
Do you want some eucalyptus wood? I'm going to Texas for the eclipse. Mm. Well, first of all, going to Texas doesn't mean you're going to be anywhere near me. Like there are, there are country amounts of distances between me and most of the rest of Texas. Uh, but uh, I'm probably good on wood right now, but I appreciate the offer. Um, I would need it if I was finally going to open my koala rescue. I've been so excited about feel like I should maybe put this back on like maybe this screen, but then take it. Yeah. The next story is about RFK Jr. A little spoiler alert. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite fruit? I like mangoes a lot. Favorite D and D class, BG three or tabletop. Um, in, in BG three, it was, uh, Oh, what was it? Uh, I did like a combo. I, I, I made my, um, Oh, what's her name? Not Curlia. What is the name of the red demon woman who everyone's in love with? Shit, I can't remember. But she was like a she was like a combination of a warrior and something else. And the build ended up just being insane where she could do like six attacks each turn. Uh before anybody else, too. Um, and then uh well, from there, it was uh, for tabletop. I tend to play as a ranger. How do you have two and a half children and acts and a lot of work? Marjorie has two kids. One is named Marjoram. Ugh. Ugh. Who's your favorite problematic fave in the fundy world? Oh, I don't know. Um, I hear that uh, Bethany's husband from Girl Defined is deconstructing or something and that she's also becoming maybe a bit more progressive. Unsure what's going on all there. It's interesting. Have I ever been scuba diving? Uh, no, I've been snorkeling when I was younger. I used to lie about going scuba diving. When I was a kid, I wanted everybody to think I was super cool. So I lied about a lot of stuff, like jobs that I worked and driving cars and all sorts of stuff as a kid. I feel like I just lied like crazy. And I think a lot of it was an experiment, like a communication experiment. Like, here's how you do this. Here's how you do this. Um, let me see. Is it still open on the other laptop? Paracuda. I'll send a new link. All right, I got to send him a new join link. He's trying. Oh boy, he's trying. By the way, earlier I might have been singing Barracuda and then just randomly changed. Like that shit happens a lot. I just I just be like that. I'm like not like other girls. Okay, let me go to Facebook. Ba 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 and we'll paste the link and send it and hopefully he's back in a moment. Let's see. Uh were Snickers really two pounds at one point in time? How would I know that? I have no idea. Have you seen the nineteen forty six movie? Uh do you mean Oppenheimer? Was that what Oppenheimer is? Or do you mean a movie called nineteen forty six? But no on both counts. Do you see the SNL version of the Republican State of the Union? No, I haven't, but I've heard it's pretty funny and that I should watch it. And that Scarlett Johansson plays the lady who went was all fucking weird. Uh, who would be your perfect president? Don't have to be a politician, just in general. It's hard to say because there's definitely been people I've liked. Like I liked Bernie and stuff, but um, a lot of the people that you get actually like, <sighs> there's not really a lot of, good hard socialists out there that represent me. Um, but I don't know. A, a good president would be me. Not really. That's not true. I don't want to be president. Are there any hosts that are lifetime atheists that didn't have to deconstruct at all? Are any of the hosts lifetime atheists? Um, mm, I can't think of any of them being, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, which isn't on purpose or anything. It's just uh, kind of the way it is. It's not letting me in. I think I'll try via phone. Weird. Not 
successfully getting in. Try the link I just sent. I guess worst case, I'll just do what I did on fucking uh, the other day and read them all. But this can't be good for viewership. You know what's so funny is uh, when I first started streaming Vertical, the algorithm would send it to all kinds of fucking people. And now they've already like changed the way that all works. And now they barely fucking send it to anybody. They're just like, we don't care about you. We don't care about fucking. Yeah. There's like two dozen people watching in the vertical format, which is fine. You know, watch, watch however you like. Uh, it might be a thing where I just only do the vertical during live and then unlist them after and then use it to make my hey. vertical content. Hey, man. I'm back. Your audio is terrible. I bet it is because it's off my phone. Your video is not great either. <laughs> yeah. It all of a sudden Suddenly. jumped to this because I had to grab another laptop, which apparently is not supported by, or the, the camera is not supported by the laptop. Is it like a Chromebook or what is it? Uh, just HP, you know. Not right. expensive. You probably just needed to camera. install the camera software. But yeah, you need to find a plug, bro. That's the main thing. That's a good laptop. You guys Dude, have. isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's nuts. It's just, it just like, it's severed. But it makes sense because I thought I blew a circuit. And then I was like, oh, oh, that's what happened. Apparently it got severed. You trying to stand it up? Yep. All right, let's see what you can pull off here. Here, let me show you there what your is. frame is going to be. Well, now it's all black. Oh yeah, you would yeah, want that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We going shaky cam the rest of the way. Shaky cam, like live live footage on the stream. Um, I was gonna say there actually is. Well, it's probably too much work to do. Let's just get through roast the news. We'll call it a day today, and we'll fix everything by next time. Uh, I uh, uh I was gonna say we could because there are ways to connect your phone to your soundboard too, but. That's probably too much. It'll probably break it if we try. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Sorry about that, everybody. Good. Talk about Murphy's Law. Are you kidding me? There's a cable on the in, in the frame. Of course there is. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. You want to read the next one? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now I have to get it up. That's what she said. Okay. But I can't get it up. <laughs> have I... Have I disappeared completely? You did. Were you reading your document on your phone before? I was. All right. So you need to come back to this and pull up the document on that HP laptop, I think. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Let me pull it up. So what have you been doing? What have you been doing since I was gone? Taking uh, taking chats from the thing. Um, oh, that's great. Take, yeah. Do you think you'll ever be as big as Chank Uger? Uh, I probably outweigh him already. I think he's probably, I probably got like 30, 40 pounds on Chank. I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Uh, is it Chank or is it, what is, how do you pronounce it? I think it is Chank or Jenk. I don't know exactly. I always forget. Uh, people have corrected me before. Um, bum, ba -da bum, 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 bum. The technical obliviousness is driving you crazy. What? Oh, believe somebody me, wrote that you in don't chat. know. I'm like, but I'm like, you don't even the know the beginning of it, bro. Go, just leave. We don't want you here. It's driving you crazy. Do you know what's going on inside me internally right now? But I'm keeping my cool, not being an <laughs> asshole in anybody's live chat. The fuck's wrong with you? Get out of here. Yeah, the mic's not, he's, we know the mic's not connected to shit. Oh, yeah, it's, I, this is, this is just for show at this point. Call it fucking, they literally have them on the desks at, like, Jimmy Fallon show and stuff. They do, like, the, what, the, the. They have, like, uh, fake prop mics, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing our best. Because everybody's done via lav. We're doing our best. We're covering a show that broke, guys, so. Maybe yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Tits. For those that tuned in, my computer essentially exploded live on air. It was pretty cool. It was it was crazy. I was like, what the heck? And did you see like the lights all go out and everything? I was like, what just happened? And then I looked and I was like, oh, 
Okay. I see. So now this is this is like makeshift live from Tel Aviv right now. Was that insensitive? I don't know. Terribly insensitive. No, I was reading things in the chat. There's some things that came in the chat in the last, we'll say, a couple dozen ones, and there's one or two of them um, where I'm just like, <laughs> I wish I could react to this one, but I'm not going to start fucking <laughs> shit. That may be a fun way to do the rest of the show if I have to pop off because of this. Well, it's all good. Well, uh, I'm just going to, we'll just get, we'll finish roast the news and we'll call it there and have it fixed by the next time you and I do it. I'm back with Sarah on Thursday. Might do another one midweek, like Tuesday or something, but we'll see. I thought about oh, just funny. like going live in the morning when I do the crossword puzzles too. Like just pull up my iPad, live stream me trying to solve the crossword puzzle. Uh, thought about doing that. Why not? You like crossword puzzles? Why not? Me? Yeah. Uh, my wife loves them. And so I'm now by proxy, mm. I, I, do, I do a lot of them. Do you get a lot of like, what's a seven letter word for yeah, yeah, asshole yeah. Or, husband? Or... <laughs> She's like, I saw that. I, oh, am I, am I asking too many questions? Am I yap, yap, yapping? <laughs> Did she really? Did she no, see I, it? I, oh, that would have been amazing though. Am I just am I just yap yap yapping too much? Hey, what's a three Anyways. letter shortened name for misogynist? Oh, Dom. <laughs> that fits. Oh that's right. D O M yeah. Can you center your frame a little bit? I told you. Huh? Just center your frame a little. Just get yourself and see in that little middle screen. Other way. Other way. Just just mm -hmm. yeah, a little bit. Yeah. How's yeah. that? Probably good. Let's see what happens when you lean. All right. All right. Did we you ready? find it? We find the, it? I believe so. Yeah. Are we on the Andrew Schultz? Yeah. All right. Let's do this. You ready? I'm ready. In a podcast interview with Andrew Schultz on Wednesday, RFK Jr. defended his past associations with Jeffrey Epstein by listing several other people he had spent time with. Here is a real quote. I mean, I knew Harvey Weinstein. I knew Roger Ailes. I knew O.J. Simpson came to my house. Bill Cosby came to my house. Wow. Well, all of my concerns are gone now. Good. Notably absent from his list of people was any one single good person. Unrelated, I would like to address questions of how I could still be friends with Jimmy with with him being such a huge piece of shit what? but it isn't what you think i've been friends with all kinds of people i knew jeffrey dahmer i knew charles manson hell ted cruz came to my house that was nice that Thanks. was nice i like what you did Thank you. i like what Thank you. you did because because i thought you were going to say ted bundy Right. But do you get why I chose Ted Cruz? Ted Cruz? Linking them all together. Linking them all together. But you know the joke about Ted Cruz being the Zodiac killer? I, I've heard of this. I've yeah. heard of this. So there's a composite sketch out there of people who met the guy. And so there's like a sketch that looks, is like, this is what the Zodiac killer probably looks like. And it literally just looks like a sketch of Ted Cruz. <laughs> like very, very on the nose. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. Do you think, I mean, do you think Ted Cruz is smart enough to be the Zodiac killer, it, though? Because the Zodiac killer the main was thing very is he's, calculated. He's not old enough <laughs> to be the Zodiac right. killer is the main thing. But, I mean, look, Ted Cruz is a very smart person who appeals to stupid people. You know, Ted Cruz went to Harvard and shit, like, and did very well. So he's, he's like one yeah. of those people where you're like, oh, the shit you're saying is is what I would expect out of a stupid person. I know you know better, therefore I know that you are a narcissist. Like, you are a psychopath trying to control people and get to power. Um, right. right. But he also reminds me of my brother. They have, like, he has such similar mannerisms to the brother of mine who I hate the most. 
And it just it <laughs> creeps me out. Anyway, a new review has concluded that hospitals that are privatized typically deliver worse quality care after converting from public ownership. The study, led by the University of Oxford researchers, has been published in The Lancet Public Health. And I have to say, I completely disagree. I've been seeing a private doctor for years. And after he sniffs my feet for 14 minutes, he always provides me with quality care. Sometimes he even does my dental work half off if I visit with no shirt on. And the medicine he gives me is way stronger than anything you get in the public health sector. Now that I think about it, he may not be legit, but in his defense, he keeps his mobile office slash well, utility van very sanitary. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. I like, I like, yeah. I was proud of that one. Okay. You know, make fun of me if you want, but I'm banging a doctor. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Did you, have you, have you caught Mulaney's new special where about talking about rehab? Uh, yeah. When it first came out. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's got that whole bit about the doc, the super illegitimate doctor that he kept going yeah. to, to get prescriptions. That's yeah. what that reminded me of. By the way, my wife's asleep. Okay. No one asked. No one asked. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just saying. All right. No, no, no. I that was the joke of the punchline of what Melania yeah. said. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Two women in is it Ash Tabula? Keep reading, you'll see. Okay, great. Two women in Ash Tabula, Ohio. A city Jimmy only included to see if I would pronounce it right. That could not have played out better if I had tried. I couldn't have scripted that better. <laughs> that was so great. Oh, my God. So good. <laughs> Look at him. He's dead. <laughs> I've known this man for like 20 years almost. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the most perfect thing yeah. that could have ever happened. Are you kidding me? Holy shit, dude. Oh, my. We've known each other 20 years this year, I just realized. Damn. Yeah. You're right. 2005 You're at the right. guitar shop. 2000, yeah. 2004. That's right, man. 2004. You would have been 15. I was 14. 15, 14. Yeah, you're right. It'd that's, be this that's... summer. Holy shit. Wow. This All summer's right. 20 years, Jimmy. How crazy is that? I know. That's, we'll have to do something. That makes me so <laughs> Commemorate. Yeah, we're old as fuck. <laughs> like, we're not talking about meeting at childhood friends. We're talking about high school friends for 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it's, and, and, and that's 20 years. 20 right? fucking years, man. Did you go to your reunion? Although, nah. <laughs> I ain't going to shit. <laughs> I won't go to the but, next one either. Although, however, that guy that was watching or the person that was watching and Snapchatted could very well. He's like, I'm surprised it wasn't 40 years with as little <laughs> as grandpa knows about technology. Anyway. <laughs> figure out your technology, right. grandpa. <laughs> anyway. All right. Two women in Ohio. We're seen driving an 80-year-old man to the bank to withdraw hundreds of dollars from his account. The women then dumped him at an emergency room without identification, where the hospital discovered that not only was he dead, he had been dead for some time. A few hours after dropping the man, the two women called the hospital, which ultimately led to their arrest, and then the details got way worse. He was dead during the withdrawals at the bank drive through window. If you're trying to do the math right now, yes, you're correct. They weekend at Bernie'd him and they did it for less than a thousand dollars. They are now in jail with charges related to, uh, untoward, untoward behavior, ah, yeah. uh, untoward behavior with a corpse. I think we can all take a vulnerable lesson from this. Valuable. Don't. So I go back. I, yes. I, I think and we can all vulnerable. take a Yeah, start with I think. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and valuable. We can all take a valuable lesson from this. Don't die. It's, don't well, it's die. really a question. Don't, don't. I think we can die. all take a valuable lesson from this. No. Uh, don't. Don't die? 
Don't do it. There you go. Don't do it. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to call my elderly dad and make plans to take him through the bank drive through so they get used to seeing me making withdrawals with him next to me. Oh, I'll take care of that. I like uh, that. I'll do a story. No, I like that. I, I have to, I have to, uh, uh, I just have to say, that's crazy. Fucking I nuts. was reading that, like, first time. Holy nuts. crap. What? How did they, I mean, I mean, why? <sighs> they had to, like, access his pin in some way, right? Why yeah. even bring him? Why not just take his cards? He's dead. So what the are you deal doing? was they had done it. They had taken him to the bank a lot in the past. And so the tellers were used to seeing them doing it on his behalf because he was so old and so tired. So they were basically just like, hey, he's here. And they're like, all right, here's your money. Here you go. We'll take care wow. of it. Yeah. One of wow. them's the girlfriend. And wow. then one of them, I think, was like a friend or something. And there's like a whole history of them like stealing his drugs and shit. Like his family is-, is just super pissed wild. yeah that is wild well also going back to the shock of us being friends for 20 years since high school yeah for anybody watching this that wasn't <laughs> born you know until the year 2000 or after weekend at bernie's was a movie yeah. uh, <laughs> Late I, forgot, 90s, I forgot about that um, Shit. <laughs> it, the premise the premise was these three guys found a dead body and and but when they played music the dead body danced so they and it, they they made him out to be like a millionaire and and they could enjoy his millionaire lifestyle because he was dead and they they couldn't let anyone know so that said now now that you understand the reference rewind listen to the joke again we and, get, yeah and there you go yeah you'll be we good. Get a, yeah don't rewind too it's far it's uh there was this whole awkward part in the middle in tech news uh, let me fix that in tech news we have come one step closer to robotic dystopia microsoft's ai companion copilot came under scrutiny this week after a data scientist screenshotted a conversation where the chatbot stated Maybe you don't have anything to live for or anything to offer the world. Maybe you are not a valuable or worthy person who deserves happiness and peace. Maybe you are not a human being. In unrelated news, this version of Copilot was based solely on the personality of my father and trained specifically on his exact thoughts and feelings toward me since childhood. Florida kinder commies. Oh, you, this, is, this, is a separate, this is a separate story. It got so that was the end in. joke. Yeah. That was the end joke. Right there. Of the the childhood. Okay. One. And then this next one is the one you already did. So is it over? Did we finish? Wait, yeah, we, that was scroll. it. Hey, yeah, this concludes Roast the News and our scripted section. We'll now move right. on to our slash news. Actually, do you wanna do you wanna should we try or do you feel like you're you're at a you're at a disadvantage here. Should we try and keep going just for a few more minutes? Because there's a couple things hey, I want to show you. Listen, listen, I'm happy with it. I'm good. Look at this uh, stupid graphic. So long as, you know, you're okay with the forgiven video and audio quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this stupid graphic. It's so dumb. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> I think. I mean, it's... Uh, that's it definitely a, you. That yeah. one's definitely you. And then That or it's our... That's for Did You See are, This? These are all our love child, Jimmy. That's yeah. all I can, Yeah. every single one of them. All right, welcome to r slash news, where we pull up Reddit and see what the top news is right now and talk about it off the cuff. Stick around. After this, we'll do a little bit of my favorite segment, Did You See This?, where we talk about the things that have been living in our mind rent-free, and we'll end, actually, we, we're not even going to do Super Chat question of the day. So if you want to send a Super Chat because you love the show and you want to support it, feel free to do that, but we're not going to read them. Uh, we're going to, I, I, I think, actually... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get through this. You know what? I don't even know if I can get up. Oh, let's see. Let's see. But I can't get it up. Get it up. Get it up. Get it up. Open up, you fucking piece of shit. All right. Here we go. Uh, and then we're going to go to, yeah, r slash news. I don't know if there's anything that exciting on this. Um what the fuck? Why are you just not working? Oh, okay. Uh, boop, 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 boop. That's the sounds computers make while they're doing work. Yeah. 
I don't know if I care that much about. Yeah, these are all like super. Nobody at house flies after eating. Let's Whoa. let's just jump right to. Actually, no, did check you this, see this? Wait, check this out. What do you got? Nine dead, seventy-eight other hospitalized after eating sea turtle meat on Zandabar's Pemba Island. Hey guys, don't eat fucking sea turtles. What's wrong with you? Not a good idea. Not a good if, idea. Is that all sea? Was it like an experiment? They were like, none of us have ever done it, but we're gonna give it a try. Well, oh no. No, because because you can eat uh, you can eat turtle. I haven't done it, but I but I know people have that have eaten turtle. But what about sea turtles? Ocean turtles eating all that bottom feeding garbage. Well, I mean, it's weird how it, there's different rules with seafood. Because like, if you eat a fucking lobster, it's like decadent. Yeah. It's like this is uh, but. They are bottom feeders. They eat just shit all oh, the definitely. fucking time. They, they eat garbage. Well, but you can't eat a raven because ravens eat shit. They eat, ravens eat garbage. Well, yeah, you know, okay, this is, okay. I, I, there are a couple things about that. Number one, seafood is my favorite food on earth. So, like, if if I, uh, you know, if I had my choice, I would just be drowning in, like, shrimp and crawfish and, and, and crab all day long. Yeah, but it's it's my favorite. But the thing is, I'm also horrified of bugs. So like, if I it, like one time somebody offered me like straight money to eat like a seasoned roach, and I was like, there's no way that I would ever do that ever for any amount of money. I'm not gonna do it. Which is so weird because crawfish and shrimp and crab are essentially the bugs of the ocean. Yeah. That's really what they are. Like a like a shrimp. No, yeah, is, it, it's a shrimp is essentially a cockroach. You know, so yeah, it, literally, it's like a cockroach of the ocean. It's my favorite thing to eat. So I don't know. I think you're not supposed to eat ravens because they can plot against you. That could be. They didn't ever forget, and they'd be quoting all yeah. the time. Just fucking. You're yeah, just like walk you... around. And you're like, hey, I want to have a good quoth free day. And then you're like, did you <laughs> see some raven? And you're like, son of a bitch. Oh, I was no. trying yeah. to get well, zero quotes. Literally, do you, do you, uh, 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 when, you know, a flock of ravens is called a conspiracy. Oh. oh, I thought it was called a murder. No, a murder is crows. Oh, okay. So a flock of crows is a murder. A flock of ravens is a conspiracy. A flock of flamingos is a flamboyance. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I like that one. That is good. Um, that is and, good. But, but and the, my pants my, but the best, will walk the a best flock one, of flame. <laughs> I got some Waka pants. I got some. I got some. You don't know. Waka Flocka Flame. My favorite is uh, larks flying in exaltation. Mm. An exaltation of larks. I think that's beautiful. Hey, speaking of larks, uh, which is something almost no one ever says. Next, let's talk about Things crackles. nobody's ever said. My, yeah, speaking of larks. My partner really likes crackles, actually. She, she brings up crackles a lot. Uh, anyway, um, uh, fucking, uh, speaking of larks, um, in, in high school, did you have to watch a ver, a, 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 uh, a, a Romeo and Juliet film? Yeah. And you see Titty in it? Yeah. Yeah. I think I just saw, I, I, it might not be that one. It might be a different one, but there's a lawsuit regarding one of the Romeo and Juliet films. And I think it is that one because they were like, Hey, you know, the nudity from that movie, they were children. Okay, this this is a very interesting thing because I, let me just say, Dom, you need to come down on the side of that not being okay. I don't know where you're going. No, with yeah, this. of course, of course, it's not okay. <laughs> okay, okay. No, 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 that's given. That's do given. not that's defend not okay. child titty. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not defend the teenage titties. Oh no. Okay, not only am I. Am I, is that awful? And I'm totally against it. Yeah. I'm interested in like, is there like, is it punishable to even lie about the age when they're adults? Do you know what I mean? Okay. Here, let me, let me walk you through my weird mindset with this. For, for context, everybody, uh, uh, Dom is an actor, like has, that's, that's what yes, he went to school yes, for and stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. So I'm 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 a trained actor and and all this stuff, trained in Shakespeare. But but that okay. Here's my point. When I was younger, uh, I remember nine hundred two one zero. Do you remember the show nine hundred two one zero? Yeah, that it existed. Yeah, we weren't allowed to watch it. That it existed. Okay, exactly, exactly. So yeah. when I was younger, the show nine hundred two one zero was on. And I was a kid, and it came on right after Power Rangers. So I'd be watching Power Rangers, and then 90210 would start. And my mom was like, you can't watch that show. It's it's not good for kids. I was like 10. So I said, okay. So I turned off Power Rangers because these older kids on 90210, my mom said there was a lot of sex in the show. And it was about, like, teenagers having sex. Okay. Right. Whatever. All these years later, I'm now in my 30s. My wife decides she's going to go back and binge watch 90210. And my mom was right. The whole show is about kids in high school sleeping with one another. Now, it's scripted, and I'm sure the kids were all actually like actors above 18 years old. But I couldn't watch it because I was like, when I was a kid, I couldn't watch it because it was inappropriate and I was a kid. Now that I'm an adult, I'm like, I'm not going to watch a show yeah. Yeah. where the premise is watch these teenagers hook up. There was like, a way worse show than I, that. I think it was called I can't watch Degrassi. It. I think might have been what yes, it was called. Where, where Drake got his start. Oh, I assume it's just where Drake tries to date now. Uh, oh. uh, leave what? Millie Bobby Brown alone, you fucking weirdo. Uh, but there's also been like MTV reality shows all about like, especially in England, like, yeah, just basically kids fucking each other. And you're like, look, I well, get that's, why that's... people that age watch them. But the number of people tuning in demographic wise says we need to start checking some fucking hard drives. See, see, this is OK. This is my exact point is even with scripted material, even with scripted material, like. If, if that's the premise of your show, because let's be honest, like high school kids hook up. Like when yeah. you're in high school, that I was I was a horny but boy. Like legally, I feel like I feel like the demographic of people allowed to watch shows like that yeah. should be yeah. only people in high school. Like if you're in middle school or high <laughs> school, you can watch this. If not, it is a felony. Yeah. Because you know, right. And it's so the same anyway, as boning. It, it, it's like interesting. We're not going to put you in jail for boning each other, but if you leave the age group, somebody's going to jail. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying is that I felt so uncomfortable just watching 90210 because I was like, this is so gross. Like, yeah. to, to it was diff again, it was different when I was yeah, 11. It's, it's funny though. It was like, there are some things that do I still enjoy go back and watching that aren't that like not teenagers just for the sake of fucking but like I st I'll I'll rewatch a, a season of that '70s show from now and then I'm like yeah right and, so, and these, this is my point these this thirty is my point. year olds like, pretending to be in high school were pretty yeah, funny when it's when it is yeah going back to Power Rangers like right when when it is clearly a twenty eight year old man yeah. pretending to be a sixteen year old kid it's like okay. It's still weird, but but uh, understandable. But even when you go back and watch, like when we were growing up, the, the uh, a huge genre of film was like a teen movie, right? Yeah. Like Ten Things I Hate About You, uh, you know, Never Been Kissed or whatever. The whole thing was anything like, with Hillary Duff. Anything with Hillary Duff. The whole point was it was high school. And they're in love, and there was always a scene. I mean, Super Bad. Super Bad's a hilarious movie, but the whole premise is high schoolers trying as hard as they can to get laid. American Pie. Yeah. High schoolers trying as hard as they can to get laid. And I wish you had I been here for the last I'm, episode when I was like, when I uh, did about how the kid who played Corey Matthews ran for Congress. And I was like, fuck Congress. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, in, in Adam, for Adam Schiff's old seat. He didn't get it. But I was like, no, no, you shouldn't get it. You should run for president. And you'll win every state if you promise us <laughs> one thing. First Lady Topanga. And then I put a picture of Topanga from her old Maxim, I think it was Maxim cover. I was like, every, and I literally said, this is everyone my age. This was our first imaginary girlfriend. First crush. Yeah, hundred, dude. I used to straight up TGIF 
Thank God it's Friday. It was every Friday. And there was an, I would watch Boy Meets World religiously. And there was an episode where Corey and Topanga broke up. Yeah. And oh, I yeah. swear to you, I had dreams every single night for a week until the next episode came of, of, of like them getting back. I was devastated. I was like, yeah. there's no way they can't. that the two of them can break up. They're not allowed. And yeah. So, yeah. so I understand, but I'm just saying like, like I didn't realize when I was a teenager watching these movies and loving these movies and relating to these movies that yeah. one day I would be a 35 year old man and be like, you know what? I don't want to watch this anymore. I'd like to go back to like talking this. about Topanga. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I Man, I loved her so much. Also, that show, I'm not even kidding. So I was growing up at a time and in a church that was still talking about like interracial relationships are not cool. And, and yeah, people wow, were like, really? and they, they were against interracial marriage still. They'd be like, you know, it's fine. Black people. Wow. Blah, 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 blah. And, and it was Sean and Angela, I think was her name. That's what I was like, bro, I'd be fucking That's breaking right. the rule too. Fucking. That's Andrew, right. I was like, I remember. Oh, damn. <laughs> they, were, they put a lot of hotties on remember? that show. Like, like, but looking back, like a, a uh, archetype of a lot of films and TV shows, especially when we were growing up was yeah. like the, guy with who gets a lot of girlfriends like yeah, yeah. the guy who's essentially running through women like you know toilet like paper and like, that was yeah, like they're a not very... even human just like oh yeah yeah it was like because you had you had like joey from friends sean yeah. from boy meets world uh, barney yeah. from how i met your mother it was like every show had the guy who had a new girl every single night and and that was like super who was it on the wonder years I think. Was you know one? what? I don't think there was one on the Wonder Years, but I was. It's funny when you said Topanga because I was like, I was wondering in my brain if my first crush was actually Topanga or Winnie. I think, mm. I think it was definitely Topanga, uh, because I think I was too young when Wonder Years came out to really like have those kind of feelings. Yeah. For. Winnie from Wonder Years, but yeah. Topanga for sure. It was like holy crap, man. We just you and you, me, and the Savage family. Apparently, we just love those guys. <laughs> we'll follow them anywhere. All right, let's. I'm uh, telling you. I I I, I decided you. we're just gonna move on to. Did you see this? Because there's only really one that right. I wanted to show you anyway. Yeah, let's uh, talk. So I'm gonna pull it up here. Uh, all right. Did you see, um, Fox News? on the day after Joe Biden's State of the Union, they kept, like, trying to turn how high energy he was into a bad thing. So after yeah, talking forever yeah. about, oh, Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, blah, 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 which, by the way, I'm a little bit... Uh, I John Stewart had his bit, and I defended John Stewart. And I think John Stewart tomorrow is going to say, yeah, remember when I said if he's high energy, film that? Congrats. You finally did it. Like that's, yeah, yeah. you followed my, I'm not wrong. You followed my advice because up until yeah. that, show me an example between when I said what I said and that day bef like, and before what I said where I'm wrong. Like if anything, I feel like Biden watched that John Stewart thing. He was like, all right, give me the caffeine boys. We're going to do it. I'm serious. Right. Not a joke. I'm working on it. I got. Yeah. I'm getting. Not a joke. That was pretty good. Not a joke. That not wasn't a joke. bad. That was like, not quite as good as the not quite people. as good as your Trump, but that's very good. Well, because Trump has a cartoon voice, so it's kind of like it doesn't even matter if it's that good because people are gonna they're gonna like it. It's whether it's that good or not. But Biden, yep. Biden well, just has a normal person's voice, and frankly, here's not hot. Frankly, yeah. Frankly, well, the the. The thing here, this is something that just drives me nuts about, I mean, this is politics 101, okay? Um, and, and like, I worked in politics. I worked in politics for a long time. I worked behind the scenes. It's, it's annoying, but it is the way it is, and I hate that this is the way it is, but my point is, it didn't matter 
to to Republicans, just like it doesn't matter to Democrats about Trump. Like, here's here's the rule in politics. It's very simple. If your guy is in office, everything he does is great, and you defend it and whatever. If the other guy is in office, everything he does is terrible, and that's it. And it doesn't matter. Like. It doesn't you they could literally have said Joe Biden, sleepy Joe, and he doesn't have any energy and then run a whole campaign on that. And then Joe Biden comes out. If he was super high energy, they would have said, which is what they're doing, going, you know, oh, he's whatever. He's trying too hard. He's doing like, drugs. He's this. He's that. I feel but like before you if, say more, if, I just should show you the video. No, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So. Please. So as you're kind of setting that up, Matt, so that is the case. Republicans, they're always complaining that he's Sleepy Joe. Then he comes out, maybe on Coke, I don't know. But he seemed, he seemed, he wasn't low energy. He wasn't Sleepy Joe. Yeah. And he went to sleep later than I went to sleep that night, mind you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. uh, so the next day, they're trying to, like, throw this all on him. Think of what the most baller move Biden could do in response to that. And then watch this, because it's probably more baller than what you came up with. Watch this. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Is there no volume? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here for yeah, Joe Biden. I might call him Jack America saw, um, let's say, a very different Joe Biden. I might call him jacked up Joe. Fired up. Feisty, fiery, combative. And he this showed so some tremendous vigor. I'd like a sip of whatever they gave him. And he was... I feel like I have to interrupt a little bit to make sure we don't get copyright hit, but this this just makes me fucking laugh. Here Now, the, now here's what the Zodiac Killer is going to say. Yes, man, and the veins bulge on his head. Hyper caffeinated. He was really going fast to point. He seemed really jacked up. Jacked up Joe screaming. Jacked up Joe, right? This was not your grandfather's State of the Union speech. Oh, man, it's already spoiled. So this video compilation that you just watched, it's not a compilation somebody put together. It's this. I'm jacked up, Joe Biden, and I approve this message. They turned it into a fucking Biden campaign dude, ad. I'm going to I'm going to tell you this, dude. He's he's done that. He's done that a couple times now With the and dark it's Brandon. actually like it's actually the best thing that you can possibly do. I mean, just in our day tonight, age, America you know, saw, um, let's say, a very just, different I Joe Biden. I, I might call it anymore. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, like you know, it was the other one. It was driving me nuts. Like before the Super Bowl, before the Super Bowl, you know, th there's all these conspiracy theories running wild about how how Joe Biden was, you know, the, they, they were going to fix the Super Bowl so Taylor Swift could endorse yeah. him. And there was all this rhetoric about Taylor Swift being a Satan worshiper and and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. Which, by the way, that drives me nuts, too, because there's this whole thing now about, like, the devils in the music industry. The devils. Yeah. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm a Black Sabbath fan. Yeah. That shit now, is yeah. not Taylor new, Swift. bro. We were first yeah. young when I first exactly. saw you. Six, six, like, six. <laughs> exactly. Like, like the band Guar has had an inflatable Satan that they fillet on stage since the 80s, dude. Like, don't come in here talking about this. Anyway, not, not my point. Shake it my up. My point is. Shake it off. Beelzebub yeah, exactly. dummy news. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, exactly. 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 Well, the point is is that you know there's all this conspiracy theory and with it running wild online just running rampant it's it's a challenge in modern day to be like how does a politician handle it you know yeah and when the chiefs won joe biden's official campaign like the official joe biden x or twitter or whatever came out with him with his arms crossed and red laser eyes and it was like just like we drew it up you know <laughs> like check it out like if you find it find that picture it's lit right right as the chiefs won it was just joe biden in like black and white from his official twitter with red eyes and it just said just like we drew it up and i was like that's the only way to handle this like that's the only way to to because the power conspiracy theories have is if you deny them they say see look they're denying it but by them just like throwing it right back in your face and and owning it what i mean 
that's awesome that that's like that that's really the judo way to handle it yeah let's see are you did you find it look yeah that's so good just like just... we drew it up <laughs> that's his official page <laughs> i'm joe biden and i approve this message six, six, six. Yeah, exactly oh, exactly man. isn't that Dude, I'm, well, I'm telling you that is brilliant i mean it's good. it's brilliant it's brilliant. but i mean honestly man this shit like it, it makes me mad but it doesn't surprise me and and i'm gonna say it's it's on both sides but like th this is it, it's been is like that? that forever especially with Hannity. is well, that here's what on I mean. both sides well you know, okay but here's what i mean here's what i mean is i remember when when obama was president and towards the end of his uh, presidency, he started doing a bunch of vetoes. He just started, or no, I'm not, I'm sorry, um, not a, bunch, a bunch of executive orders. Executive orders. Oh, he was pardon. like, executive order, executive order, executive order. And all the rhetoric was from folks like Hannity was, he's a tyrant. Yeah. This is not what America's made for. America has not, a democracy. We don't have for a kings. That was, that exactly. was we, don't we don't have, have kings. kings. Exactly. Exactly. We don't have kings. Like it's meant to be slow. He's abusing his power. And then he gets and out of office like, and uh, immediately and yet, checkmate, bitch. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, well, no, but then checkmate. then Trump gets into office and within the first like I think it was one to three months of Trump's presidency, he did more executive orders than right. any president in history. He yeah. did more executive orders in his first three months than by than Obama did his entire presidency. And those same people, the exact same people that said Obama was a, you know, whatever he, he was, Would a, be he was king, a tyrant, yeah, yeah, dictator, king, tyrant, whatever. Those same people were like, when Trump did it, they were like, finally, a president who gets things done with balls. Finally, finally, a, a president yeah. with balls. So, so what? It's 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 the simplest trick in the book, and it's politics one hundred and one. It's like criticize someone for something. And you know, if it's, if it's, if, if they're, if they're yeah. cold, say they're too cold. And then when they heat up, say they're too hot. Right. And then if it's dark, say it's too dark. And then if it's bright, say it's too bright. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's the easiest thing in the world. And then the funny thing is, but if you is, have weird you know, sexual when... feelings about him, call him sleepy, sleepy Joe, <laughs> sleepy. He is not awake he is a sleepy guy is, and i do is not it, is it have time a to go to bed it's time, is it to... time to go to bed <laughs> so come to bed I mean, with me like sleepy said, joe it's it's politics 101 at the end of the day you know the unfortunate thing is the majority of americans i mean i, I don't even think we're to a point where we need like an election campaign anymore yeah, I really think it's like, hey, listen, everyone knows Trump got the president or Republican nominee. Everybody knows Biden got uh, the the Democratic. Let's not have a campaign. Let's not go through smear trails for the next year. Next, let's not worry about it. Let's just wait till November and everybody go vote for who you already know I, you're gonna vote for anyway. Man, I don't agree. I don't agree with you at all. Like the there's really? a group of people. This this the. Okay, so here's the thing. They're stupid. Don't get me wrong. They're fucking idiots, but there are undecided voters who are fickle, who keep switching back and forth between the two. Like, the yeah, fact that, that Biden's polling changed in response to the uh, State of the Union, it's like, okay, good. He showed he has energy, but... If if he was in a fucking wheelchair with drool coming out of his mouth, he should still have had your vote over the fucking pussy grabbing insurrectionist. Right. Like it's it's yeah. there is a there's a thing that that, you know, people joke about. Oh, you have Trump derangement syndrome. Y'all have fucking Trump amnesia. How do you not fucking Dude. remember this shit? Ask people to just name, like, can you name three tweets he made? And people are like, oh yeah, he was I, on yeah. Twitter. It was like, I'm not, about? yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. And, and you know what? Like, I don't necessarily think, I mean, I, think I he'd actually win kind if, of retract a little bit. If we took, if, I, I think, I if, if we did your thing, ahead. I think he'd win. I think he'd win hands down. I think people, you think Trump would win? If we went, if we did not talk about Trump until November, the fact is, is the less he's talked about the amnesia that's setting in and stuff, I think he would win hands down because they would evaluate well, Biden on if they can find anything bad that's going on with the country today. 
Therefore, no, I'm not going to vote for Biden. And Trump would just be the if I want to change. I think the amnesia would get worse. And I think that's I think a, if you held the election that's today, a, you make a good be. point. You make it you make a good point. I, I guess what I'm saying, because because, you know, there's also the voters. And honestly, man, I, I kind of find myself in this realm where it's like when it comes down to it. I don't want either of these people if i had my choice i i wouldn't sure. want either of these people to be the people that are my choice and so it's it's kind it's called oh, saturday night live made that joke they were like uh in a preliminary poll you had 16 percent of the country saying they'd vote for uh biden 16 percent of the country saying they'd vote for trump and the rest voting for kill myself yeah, you know kill me please and, and yeah, and I, I get that. Like, I really sympathize with that. And so you're right. There is a push-pull. My point is... They're is not just equal, that, though, for the record. I, I just want to make sure, before anybody says we're both sidesing it, I don't want either of yeah, them right, either. Right, 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 but right. they're not close. It's not like, so, you know, any given day, maybe I will vote Trump if that day feels a little more Trumpy. There is no chance Trump would get my vote, period. He can't. He well, can't right. get my vote. No, no. But but the thing is, what what the point I was getting at is just that so many people, and I mean an unbelievable amount of people, they don't spend as much time in politics or researching politics or whatever. They literally, they might be one issue voters. They might just be lifelong party members. They might just be like, uh, you know, they, they don't give too much thought into it or anything like that. But what, what drives me crazy, you're talking about this amnesia about... Yeah whether or not Trump did what or whatever. The only time in my life I was ever stupefied, and I mean just honestly stupefied by the by the definition of the word, where my mouth was agape and and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Yeah. And there wasn't a gluck was, gl 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 sound. Oh, that was me <laughs> Yeah. No, I was, was 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 in 2016 when Trump just had a he had a big press conference spent the majority of the time selling stakes and then and i don't mean stakes in the stocks i mean actual yeah. meat steaks. That, which he and, eats well done with ketchup that's not a joke that yeah, is literally how he eats them people yeah and so but the thing was was then he just said in front of everybody i never said obama wasn't born in this country hillary did I never, that was, and that was he, the Hillary campaign. Yeah. He, he just said, he literally said the words. I never said that. Do you know where and it came from? That blew, the I the like thing that face. blew me away was that, yeah, I watched him obviously for years since 2011 over and over and over. I listened to him say it over and over and over. I watched him run on it. I watched him speak about it at rallies i watched all of it and and then the fact that he could just get up in front of people and go nope i never said it and then all these me. people that supported him go yeah they just went they just went okay yeah he never said it and, and i was like run the tape assholes. At that point, yeah yeah but even if you run the tape my point is for people who have made up their mind, the tape doesn't matter. For people up their mind, it yeah. doesn't matter. That and those aren't the people Joe I'm talking about. Is sleepy? Is sure. it, yeah? It doesn't matter if if he's energetic. It doesn't. None of it matters. They've made up their mind. Right. And so whatever the other person does is wrong. It, it, that's it. It but doesn't matter fickle... if it's good or bad. They're not actually centrist because centri like the concept of a centrist would be a person who has ideals. They're just a little bit dumb. Like uh, centrism <laughs> is still stupid. So, and so is libertarianism. Just in case, uh, I just want to make sure I try to make somebody who's watching right now mad. If you're a centrist or a libertarian, I think you're stupid. Anyway, there's this other group where it's not really that they're a centrist or a libertarian. In fact, they're not even thinking in terms of Republican versus Democrat. They're just thinking in terms of, Biden versus Trump. And in the same way that there's like popularity at school, like on what day are they going to be voting for the class president that people like more? Cause oh, he won the big debate or, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever children vote for class president based on now, I don't know what it is, but, but it is, it is this level of, 
it is the lowest. It's somehow lower than the lowest common denominator of usual voters who are passionate about specifically Trump more than more than the other side. Uh, it's this low, like fickle. You have to get me excited that day. Like the, it's the people who the people who will decide this election as fucking sad and, and dark as this is. There is they are the people who so elections on Tuesday. You could just change the news cycle on Monday, not by some crazy thing like they found somebody was murdered. I'm mean, obviously that's, you know, somebody mur- that the president murdered somebody. Obviously, that'd be huge. You could just change the news thing on Monday enough to like, ew, you're going to vote for Biden? Gross. And if they felt that that sentiment took hold on Monday, they'd vote for Trump on Tuesday and vice versa. And that's fucking yeah. dark as shit. It's like, it's well, yeah, and, gross. And, yeah, that's that's just the thing is that like when you look at when you look at the honest just polarization, you know, I mean the 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 extreme polarization what bothers me is that you know in a make weird these, way make these inspirational last words i'm starving so so look into the oh, camera okay. connect with the audience and be like well if i make an inspiration it's gonna be something you disagree with entirely <laughs> Which is, we agree on most things what do you mean i know we agree on most things but i don't know that we'll we'll agree on this is that like i think Ex- this extreme polarization is really, really bad for the country. I think it's sure. really bad because I think I what disagree. it's gotten no, rid of. of course I agree. <laughs> yeah. What what I think what I think it's gotten rid of is it's gotten rid of honest, rational conversation and honest, rational debate. To where there are people who are so like I said they've ha- they have their mind already made up that if any points are made from either side, it's like, I'm not here to listen to you. I'm just here to tell you, you know, why you're wrong or why Trash, it's yeah. whatever. And yeah, and and the thing is, is that like, there's, there, there is no, especially when we're in the, in the realm of like, you know, <laughs> things like this person is an unhuman pedophile versus this human who is, and they're making up all this crazy, a treason and in, in this and that and whatever. You've demonized each other so much that unless you can have rational conversation to bring people to ability, I, I don't see, did I freeze? Yeah, for a little bit, for a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, that's my my that's my thing is just that I think you know, it froze again. I think your phone's overheating or some shit. Yeah, probably. It's bad. Anyway, how that? Anyway, uh, no, it's still frozen. All right. Well, <laughs> if everybody wants to remember one thing, yeah, he defended that Shakespeare thing. What the fuck? I did. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I think that uh, the extremes have to be defeated, not reasoned with, and that you reason with the. I think you reason with the reasonable, the extreme, the extremist you defeat. Um, and you, yeah, I don't, I don't, the, the trying to get a QAnon person to hear me out is not anything I'm going to ever waste any time on. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You know what anyway. I think it's time for? What are you, I don't know what you're indicating. I was just going to play the thing and then go. That's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for the thing. Okay, bye. Ah, oh, shit! Fuck! It did it again! God damn it! <laughs>